the profile wall in Norway, I would say is home to some of the best crack climbing in the world, and probably some of the hardest. After I completed all the routes on the wall a few years ago, I started working on the last obvious line on the wall, basically this mega pitch which would complete the entire crag in a 100 meter push. So the route is broken into two halves, with the lower half of the route revolving around a difficult boulder problem, and the upper section is more sustained and mixes both crack climbing and normal face holds. I'd already climbed the lower half of the route into an easy finish a few years ago, so I focused my attention on getting the top portion of the climb like totally dialed in. Unfortunately though, the weather windows look pretty bleak, and I was actually getting really doubtful if I would get some more red point opportunities. But, like I always say, you know, if you put the effort in and you keep showing up, then the reward will come at some point. I ended up falling on the full line from the last move of the red point crux. And then from this point on, the remaining week had at least some rain forecast for every day. Honestly, the whole thing was feeling really tight to get the climb done before the season fully closed. So the plan is to go and check the wall. It's been raining for the last three days quite hard. It's still absolutely soaking wet down here, but I feel like the wall might have dried a bit. We'll see. It's really difficult conditions though at the moment. It's very difficult, so just have to walk up, see, and have a look. I would say I've spent definitely over 100 days at the profile wall, and this is the first day I've actually seen everything wet. So I've spent a lot of time here, but this is the worst conditions I've ever seen it in. So uh, that's interesting, it's good to know. I didn't think these roots at the bottom could get wet, but it looks like the storm has been blowing into the wall and everything is soaking, so. The prime conditions we were hoping for have turned into the worst conditions that we've ever seen. That's good to know. It's good to know it's learning. We have another day of bad weather and then Friday looks good. But uh, I would say time is ticking now. But I might abseil down the route anyway so then we're ready to go on another day. But it's finding the perfect moment of just before the rain of the amazing conditions but then not everything getting wet. That's what we're waiting for. It's a fine period. Despite the forecast looking really bleak, there were a few small breaks and surprisingly the war did start to dry out. Against all weather odds, we were back with a dry wall and decent conditions. And I got to work preparing the climb, re-familiarising myself with the moves and getting ready for the final lead attempts of the season. If it wasn't now, I really thought I was going to have to wait until over the winter until I could come back in the spring the following season. This is the middle of crux number two. There's a tricky bit, which comes up here and then into this. And then there's a tricky sequence on the kind of normal face holds. And this is the one that my foot popped off yesterday. But I think it popped because I kind of lost tension in the move because uh, I was tired. And then you have a hard move to get to a like a bad, it's not bad hand jam, but like not a bomber hand jam. It's a bit like cupped and it's not, it doesn't sink right to the back. It's right on the edge. It's hard move to get that. And then there's a, a decent hand jam after that. So we will, we will see. It's also like how well you can climb this bit. If you can climb this bit well, then that kind of sets you up for the next bit. Whereas if you like make some mistakes on there, you just end up like desperately trying to get into these and then this bit feels desperate and then you fall off. Conditions were actually surprisingly good after the warm-up and I knew that a decent lead attempt could be on. The start of the climb to the first bold problem is easy, but when I was going for an attempt I always climbed up, placed the first three pieces before the hard climbing starts, then down climb back to the ground to rest. By doing this I could basically just blast straight through the lower crux without having to stop and place anything. Oh. 
Okay, I left the rack.
Okay, I'll just get this gear in, then I'll rest a bit. Okay, go for it. Oh! I felt like on that uh, top bit, I looked down and I was like, holy shit, if I had fallen off, I might have. I'd be... I would be really close to you. No. It's quite tricky. It's not like any of it's that hard. It's just like freaking massive. That's the problem. Oh, good. Sight. What should we do now? <laughs>